Reported by the media, the Romanian police have committed a new abuse against the mentor of Misa Yoga School. Even going so far as to falsify court decisions, the Romanian authorities have nominated Gregorian Lubelaru as one of the most dangerous criminals in Romania and the European Union. Although completely disconnected from reality, the information was then taken by all the press in the country and several publications and TV stations from abroad and totally blown out of proportion. However, the ranking is not made by the EU authorities as implied by the Romanian press. The nomination of Gregorian Bivolaro on this list and the connection between these fake crimes and his name were made by the Romanian police. The police grossly changed the crime of which Gregorian Bivolaro was accused in Romania to one that is much more serious and then sent that to the EU authorities. The following offenses are mentioned next to the name of the spiritual mentor of Misa Yoga School sexual exploitation of children and child pornography. In fact, the Romanian court convicted him of a sexual act with a minor, which does not involve by any means one or more children. The legal classification of this offense is considerably different. S-a falsificat în mod grosolan acuzația împotriva lui pentru ca el să apară pe plan intern și pe plan internațional ca un periculos criminal. It is hard to believe that the false information provided by the Romanian police might be due only to a simple error. Much closer to the truth is the assumption that through this new abuse, the authorities have sought to harm the image of Gregorian Bivolaru even more, subjecting him to public disgrace. Both the Romanian police and mass media have thus reiterated accusations related to human trafficking against the mentor of Misa Yoga School. The police have falsely accused him of sexual exploitation of children, and to give it a more sensational tone, journalists added that he is holding underage girls in slavery. The public release of these accusations is all the more an abuse because in February 2015, a Romanian court established that they are unsubstantiated. Prin publicarea acestor date false, poliția practic sfidează justiția, sfidează instanța de judecată care pe uh, domnul Bivolaru l-a achitat exact pentru faptele pentru care poliția arată pe acest site că dumnealui este urmărit. Why is it that the Romanian authorities consider the conviction for six years of Gregorian Bivolaru for sexual act with a minor much more serious than a terrible crime with 20 or more years in prison? And why is it that dozens of publications have rushed into claiming that Gregorian Bivolaru is one of the most dangerous criminals in the European Union? Is this only a simple coincidence? Or a tacit coalition of journalists behind which hides an action of public lynching performed on order. The Bivolaru case is well documented as a human rights uh, abuse from Romanian side. He has asylum in Sweden, he is well known in Sweden and protected by the Geneva Convention. So to put his name as one of the first in this new attempt to catch fugitives is simply Uh, outrageous. Situația prezentă, nu știu ce nu știe statul român, de ce îl consideră de negăsit. De fapt, nu este de negăsit, este de neatins. Pentru că Bivolaru se află sub imperiul statutului de refugiat, conform tratatului de la Geneva. Și această uh, postură a lui de refugiat este cea care împiedică autoritățile din România să pună în executare mandatul de arestare care există pe numele dumnealui. Including Gregorian Bivolaru on the European Most Wanted list was meant to suggest that there is an international investigation targeting a dangerous network. The investigation being carried out by the European authorities. Această acțiune de punere 
a lui Gregorian Pivolaru, pe lista Europol, sub o acuzație falsificată, are o gravitate de excepție. We have put forth questions to Europol. We have also questioned the Romanian police, who, according to Europol, are the ones responsible for the decision of decision of taking Pivolaru's name to this position. Dacă un om de rând săvârșește un fals, el este, desigur, incriminat pentru această infracțiune. Dacă poliția săvârșește un fals, noi trebuie tot să stăm și să vedem cum rezolvăm problema. Nu există această conduită obișnuită la noi de a trata în mod egal autoritățile și cetățenii dacă ei săvârșesc un act care este ilegal. Are we to believe that sexual act with a minor changed into sexual exploitation of children and child pornography only due to the incompetence of the officer posting it on Europol's site? It is rather a well-thought-out scheme so that the European society, saturated with pedophile scandals and traumatized by the waves of rape crimes committed by refugees, consider as legitimate the presence on this list of infamy of such a criminal. On such a background, when a judge is requested a warrant for a phone or email interception with the argument that this person appears on Europol's list, the approval comes naturally. Nu știm la ora actuală cine este responsabil. Oricum, Europol în sine este o organizație responsabilă, așa cum funcționează. Faptul că nu are oare un filtru astfel încât astfel de uh, mistificări să se producă e deja un lucru foarte grav, pentru că aici este vorba de, de crime, de crime la nivel cel mai înalt, de implicarea unor organisme naționale și internaționale. Deci Europol trebuie luat la întrebări. What do the Romanian police want? The questioning of the refugee status that the Swedish authorities granted to Gregorian Mivolaru years ago, or, if this is not possible, for Sweden to at least close its eyes to the situation of the Misa mentor and to let the European arrest warrant be executed. What we would need now is for Europol to look through their criteria with this list as the first thing that comes out is this blatant continuation of persecutions from the Ceausescu times through their new um, uh, most wanted list. It's of course an absurd situation. Secondly, to look into the collaboration with the Romanian authorities if it would be that they have been receiving misleading erroneous information, possibly deliberately in order to continue this well-known persecution.